Let's take a look at the circuit diagram. Specifically, to connect the Arduino to our Bluetooth module, the receive pin on the module goes to pin 1 on the Arduino, the transmit pin on the module goes to pin 0 on the Arduino, the ground is connected to ground, and VCC on the module is connected to 5 volts on the Arduino. For our motor driver, the first set of related motor pins, IA1, is connected to pin 3 on the Arduino and IB1 is connected to pin 5 on the Arduino. For our second motor, IA2 is connected to pin 6 on the Arduino and IB2 is connected to pin 9 on the Arduino. The other connections are the ground pin on the driver is connected to the ground on the Arduino and the VCC is going to go to the positive pin of our 6 volt external power supply. If this is not the exact motor driver that you use, just bear in mind that there will be similarities in how you connect the motors. Keep the motor pins together, that is the inputs and the outputs, and the circuit should work exactly as it has been defined. There may be a couple of tweaks that you need to make in the code, but when we do a code review, we'll get into those details. Now we are actually ready to begin assembling our circuit. So first we have the frame. I'm going to put a breadboard on the frame. Next we have our Arduino. And first we are going to wire up our motor driver. So the motor wires actually, we can pass them through a couple of the holes here to get them to show up on the other side of our frame. So I'm just going to pass a couple of these wires through these holes. Again, be gentle with these wires because we don't want to break off the pins to the motor itself. So here's one and I'm going to pass the second one. All right, so these are the pins. Here's my board. And here's the motor driver. So if you follow the wiring for the motor driver, the second pin is gonna be connected to ground. IB1 is going to go to pin five on the Arduino. IA1 is going to go to pin 3 next up IB2 is going to go to pin 9 on the Arduino IA2 is going to go to pin 6 Okay. The VCC pin, of course, is going to go to our external power supply. So I'll just run a wire from that external power supply. Put a couple of wires in here. One for ground. And the other one is for a 6 volts positive pin. So I'll connect this to ground as well on here. And we'll leave we'll leave this positive pin to connect to the um, VCC. Actually, we don't need that. We can directly jump that VCC into here when we're ready to power up our circuit. So for now, we won't connect that. We'll do that last. So I'll just put this power supply here for now. 
Next, the outputs that go to our motor. So this is the left motor here. This will be the left motor of our vehicle. And these are the two motor pins. They're actually gonna go here. So let's make those connections now. Remember, if you don't have the exact same motor driver that I do, the connections will be similar in that there would be, you know, two inputs per motor, two outputs. You may just have to tweak the code a little bit as far as the direction, uh, you know, the, the where we set the pins high and low. You may have to tweak that a little bit, but it should all still work. So, but essentially all motor drivers are typically the same. So those are the connections for our left motor. Now we want to make the connections for the right motor. All right, so should we make sure they are plugged in here? And I'm going to screw those in. So those are securely in place. So those are the motor driver connections. Next up, we'll want to connect our Bluetooth module. So this is the actual uh, HCO5 Bluetooth module. And what would be handy here, since there are right angle pins coming out of our module, if we have a uh, female to male connectors again, these are uh, pretty handy. So that they will enable you to connect to the pins on the module and then connect directly to the pins on the Arduino and the breadboard. So these would be handy. So I'm just going to connect those now here. Push those in. All right, now that's that is securely in place, okay? So we just have to be mindful. We look at the wiring on here and compare that to our circuit diagram to ensure that the correct wire goes into the correct pin. All right, so the first is VCC and VCC goes to five volts. That's the first wire coming out here. So in my case, it's the blue wire and I'm going to connect that to the Five volt reel on the breadboard. The next wire on here is the actual uh, ground wire, so that's the second one, and that's going to be connected to ground. So I'll just strip that a bit, connect it to ground. Then the third wire is the transmit wire. All right, so. Remember the transmit wire has to go to the receive wire on the Arduino. So that uh, transmit wire, the receive wire on the Arduino is pin zero. So that goes to pin zero. And the final wire on our from our module, which is the uh, receive, goes to the transmit on the Arduino. And the transmit on the Arduino is pin one. Okay, so. That goes to pin one. All right, so that essentially is the connection for our Bluetooth module. So I know all the parts are sort of on here, but uh, we'll secure this in place for now. Let's just get everything wired up on the frame itself. Before we forget, let's connect the five volts on the breadboard. To the five volt reel. And we also need to ground the breadboard. So we'll do a ground, connect that ground to the ground reel. Alright, so that that just ensures that everything is grounded 
on our circuit. Next, we need to connect the uh, power for the Arduino to make our circuit mobile. So um, what I have here is a, a 9 volt uh, sort of battery holder. Um, it's very handy in that this particular one has a on off switch. So it allows you to essentially, you know, once we uh, connect this to the frame to turn our Arduino on, eventually when we're powering it externally, we flip the switch and uh, our circuit should be good to go and uh, you know it should work um, alternatively you can also use one of these connectors um, where you know it's it's simply you connect this onto the top of the 9 volt battery and you have this barrel jack at the end there's no button or switch to turn it on but you can also use this as well um, but in terms of convenience uh, this type of uh, battery holder is nice because there's a switch to turn it on and off and then there's the barrel connector that goes to the Arduino so I'll just go ahead and connect this to the Arduino alright and we'll need to secure this on here now that everything is wired up before we actually uh, upload the code to our circuit we want to make sure that we secure things in place so um, what you can do is, you know, you can use zip ties or double-sided tape or Velcro, anything that you may have, any adhesive material. And I just put some double-sided tape on the battery itself, uh, some under the breadboard and on this 9-volt um, this, uh, battery holder. And just to secure the Bluetooth module, I just, uh, you know, put, it, uh, put some tape on here just to secure it in place. Uh, it's not completely riveted down but um, it's secure and the parts aren't going aren't to go flying anywhere as your car drives so you just want to be mindful and uh, put those um, secure the parts down by putting adhesive tape. Next up we will upload the code to our Arduino to test our car out and to see how everything works together. To summarize, in this lecture you learned how to assemble the frame for the car and we were also able to wire up all the components together. Next comes the part we have all been waiting for, uploading the code and doing a test drive. I just can't wait. Let's move ahead to the final lesson in this project.